But how does former Prime Minister and cricket tragic John Howard feel about the cricket imbroglio? Joining me live on the phone from his home in Benelong is Mr Howard. Uh, thank you, Mr Howard. We never, we never actually had you on the show before. It's usually just me doing a bad impression. Oh, 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 oh no, it's a, it's a pleasure, pleasure to be here, Sean. Oh, I, I enjoy watching Mad as Hell on the Wednesday. Jeanette's uh, not too keen on it as she as it goes off to the rubbers room to watch the wrestling. Oh, so, so you got a TV in the rubbers room? No, we haven't. <laughs> now, I, 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 know, I know you're a big uh, Donald Bradman fan. Oh, I still am, Sean. I, I, had the, uh, I had the great uh, pleasure of meeting the Don uh, just before he died. In fact, uh, I may well have been the reason he uh, passed away. I, I uh, had gone over to his house uh, to get him to sign approximately uh, a thousand pieces of memorabilia when uh, Lady, Lady, uh, uh, Lady Bradman told him I was downstairs. He, he apparently jumped out of the window. And, uh, and, and how do you think he would have reacted to this whole ball-tampering fiasco brouhaha? Oh, knowing the Don as uh, well as I did, which uh, was pretty well, considering we uh, barely met, I, I, I think, uh, I, I, I think, uh, I think he'd have uh, been spinning in his grave uh, like a turbine. He'd have been burrowing his way out of the grave to rise again from the earth and, and wreak vengeance on all those who would sully the good name of Australia, Australia's greatest sport. Uh, he, he would have haunted them, do you think? Oh, he, he would not rest until they, they had paid for their sins in blood. Um, would, uh, Mr Howard, would, would he have done this as a skeleton or as a ghost, do you think? Oh, it's hard to be certain about these sorts of things, Sean. Uh, his body was uh, previously interred in the Centennial Park Cemetery in Adelaide, so oh, I, I, uh, I, I think not having a corporeal presence would enable him to travel into state with greater ease. <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean, was interred? Well, I'm uh, a big fan of the Don that I am. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. I arranged to have his body dug up and transported uh, uh, to a crypt I'd built in my basement where I... Uh, <laughs> I sometimes, uh, you know, when Jeanette said book club or spin class or what have you, I, I will visit him in the, uh, in the dead of night and, and dance about with his bones. And sometimes, sometimes strapping his skull on top of mine and, and driving, driving through the neighbourhood singing out Don Bradman at the top of my lungs. While, uh, while egging various public monuments. <laughs> uh, it'd, be, it'd be fair to say then that, uh, that you think the Don would be disappointed in what's happened. <laughs> Well, not inconsolably, of course, Sean. Now, you've got to keep a sense of proportion about these things. <laughs> after all, it's only a game. <laughs> well, thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr John Howard, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, I've got to go now. Oh, 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 I've got to go. Oh, I'm dripping all over the carpet. <laughs> what, you, you've just been in the shower? No. <laughs>